Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing another Let's Play. It's called Welcome to Irisol. Irusol. An experience. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool. I can jump. Jump pretty high, so. Oof. There's a cabin here. I saw some options. Turn my field of view. Oh, the whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, never mind. Okay. Oh. I'll turn that to like five and eight something. Okay. <coughs> okay. Oh, that's a bit better. All right. So, oh, oh, excuse you. Press F to activate. Oh, I got a flashlight. Press E to pick up a note. Escape opens your menu. Read notes there. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> Where am I? What's going on? The last thing I remember is tearing up a sweat valley. Tearing up a sweet valley on my quad. And now I find myself waking up on top of a mountain. My chest hurts. Maybe that has something to do with all of this. Across the valley, I can see someone. Are they digging? Is that a grave? Oh fuck, that's not for me, is it? I have to get out of here. Oh, this is a horror game. Well, I better grow up quick. Today I found out that I got Kathy pregnant when we fucked a few months ago. Well, good going, dude! Kadeem! I guess I better get myself together. I'm going to be a father now, so I need a job. Babies need clothes and food, and I'm going to have to support Catherine. And we will have to move in together and get married, and there is so much to do! Fuck! I'm going to have to find a job. I don't want to work in the mine because those guys always have a real bad cough, if you know what I mean. <coughs> that can't be healthy, so maybe I could work with my dad as a mechanic. I'm going to have to spend more time there watching the things he does. Fuck! It's late, so I better rest up for tomorrow. The rest of my life is starting, after all. Well. Shit. We... Oh, is this where they fucked? Well, thanks for the piano noises. Finally, after three whole weeks of p pestering him, my dad gave me a job. Sheesh, that took a while. I'm his own flesh and blood. And he worries me like that. Whenever it's all lined up, now I will be a mechanic for a while until Dad retires, and then I will own the business. Then it will be smooth sailing. Stuart's mechanics will now become David's awesome auto. That's a much better name. Then I can hire someone else to be the mechanic and ride out the rest of my life. In the meantime, Dad is taking me hunting this weekend. Our hunting trips are pretty fun, but he is probably going to be giving me life lessons and war stories all the time. Boy, do I get old. Boy, do those get old fast. He was cozy and safe in his tank the whole time, so the stories sound like history lecture from school. I guess it's good to make my dad happy by listening to his stories, though. He did just give me a job, after all. This is from 1986. I noticed today how grown Burnett is. I may have to start sitting on my porch cleaning my gun so that all the boys in town know to keep their hands off my daughter. Oh, that's like 20 years. This is 20 years later. Okay. Both me and dad got married due to unplanned babies. I won't let that happen to my daughter. Kathy sure has been good to me lately. She made my favorite dinners every night this week. She has been smiling a lot more too. I'm glad she is finally out of the out of funk her parents left her in. It has been four years since they passed away. That seems like a long time to me. But then again, both of my parents are still walking around. Dad has not given me the business, but I'm making a decent amount of money, so it does not really matter. Good. I think this game's gonna take longer than one episode, so...
I'm sorry, did you say that you saw a guy digging a thing down a hill? Down there? I can't see anything. Does this bridge go places? It doesn't look so. Alright, so I'm stuck with one direction. That way. Yes. Gotta go that way. Gotta go that way. That way. Let's see. Yeah, I'll probably end the episode 635. I don't have a clock on me right now or a timer. I probably should. I have a tablet. And it's over there. It's not being used. I should probably use it. Yes, commentary. Commentating intensifies. I can make myself cry, you know. I'm almost doing it right now. Intense moments of silence and nothing happening. Oh, this is quite an experience. I like the ambience. It's very nice. Very pretty. Oh, another note. Oh, and more piano sounds. Do, do, do. Someone's... Excuse me, sir. You're kind of loud. Hold on. I don't think everyone wants to hear that, by the way. Um, journal. 1945. Judy is pregnant. Gosh dang it, everyone. Man's tremble as I write these words. Both out of our fear and out of our excitement. Well, okay, so it's half good. I was the... I was of the mind that my little girl was still just that, but today she came to me and revealed she has become a woman. Seventeen is old enough to have a child, I suppose. Lord knows the miners I employ won't wait that long, so I could be grateful she has kept herself away from them. My reputation may take a bit of a beating. But the fallout is manageable. The boy himself has goose. I'm so sorry about that, guys. For some reason, Movie Maker doesn't want to record with my webcam anymore. So, I'm using a different program, and I had to go find one. So, sorry about that. Um, let's get back to this. Perhaps I could, um, the profits from that the bank. When I first heard the news of my daughter's pregnancy, I was furious, but now I can see the opportunity unfold before me. Confound it, Stuart! After so many years, my mechanic franchise venture has gone nowhere. Stuart is a, Stuart is a self-absorbed buffoon with no drive for greatness. His one shop is barely profitable, and most of the business comes from serving the trucks that haul coal from my mine to the train yard. His focus on the past has retarded my ambitions for long enough. The business is just good enough for Stuart. Judy and their son David to live on. But Stuart does not have the ambition I once thought he had. He still talks mostly of the Second Great War and his part in it. I understand his pride, but I do not understand his willingness to move forward in his life. Judy's indiscretions have cost me over the years. She should have chosen better. Perhaps it is time to rack up this venture as a loss. My coal mine is still very profitable, and I need to focus on addressing the town's safety concerns. Working in the mine is perfectly safe, and it keeps them away from the sun after all. They should be grateful that I enable all of the cash flow in the town. Without my mine open, they would have to move away from their homes and find jobs somewhere else. That is true. can't tell if he's facing me or not. Oh, great. Another note. Beautiful. Okay, there's a lot of reading in this game. It seems Judy has finally figured out that her husband is less than desirable. Perhaps I will introduce her to my prodigy, Brad. Go, Brad, go! Brad truly has the ambition I once thought Stuart possessed. Linking our families in this way? Someone is messaging me on Facebook. Thank you for messaging me on Facebook. I would prefer that she was with a man who can handle it property, properly. 
There are many the same age, too. Very convenient. Very convenient indeed. Oh, hey. He's not screaming anymore. You don't like screaming, do you? Ah! I gotta go down the hill now. Woo! 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 -woo. 360 no scope. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, baby, a triple. You guys like my headphones? They're new. They remind me of Buzz Lightyear. That's why I got them. They're pretty nice. Rave up in this bitch. So remember this flashlight mod back for Doom 3 a long time ago that made your flashlight the shape of Hello Kitty? That was silly. Hello kitty flashlight. Hello kitty flashlight. Hello kitty flashlight. It was beautiful. Another house, probably with more notes. His house is all the same or something? Or log cabins. Three people standing here. Ghostly figures, you die. Good. Glad to know that. You're not gonna follow me, are ya? Nah? Okay. I was hoping not. Is there... Nothing here? No? Alrighty, Roo. I'm done with you. My elbow hurts. I keep looking at myself, but I need to look up the camera. My elbow hurts because it's on solid wood. I need to get like a cushion or something to put under it. Here, rook shield. Here's my rook shield. Yeah. Ugh. It's more useful this way. Now I still use the rook shield. It can goof up sometimes, but you know you got you got to deal with it. You gotta deal with it if it's the only thing you got, and you got it for like half off. Hi, tree. Hi, other tree. Oh, there's people sitting on this bench. I probably missed a no back in that last building. I just wanna say I did. I don't know if I did, but you know. I grab it from way over here. No, I can't. <coughs> Excuse me, Judy! <coughs> Tonight I became a woman with a war hero. Student came home from war, and he had a look in his eye I could not resist. Mechanics sure do have a way with their hands. Oh! Oh! Surely he means to make me his wife now. I have run enough to know what sex leads to. Yeah. But what if he doesn't? Perhaps my body was all he was after since he has been away for so long. No, I must not think that way. Ow, my thumb. The proper thing for me to do now is wait for him to call, and when he does, I must fight my urge to press the matter of marriage. It will be some time before I know if the pregnancy takes, after all. I can't build everyone up to discover that my hysterical... That I am hysterical! Yes, I will wait for my beloved Stu to make his move. Oh, baby boo Dalek Stu. Then we can begin our lives again, or something or other. Anyone up here? Oh, two more notes. Fantastic. Oh. Kind of spooky. Can I jump out the window? I jumped out the window. How cool is that? Jumping out windows. Stuart's demeanor is weighing on me heavily. Nearly 40 years have passed in our marriage, but seriously, how long? Oh, okay. Cool. But unlike the wine in my glass, it has not aged well. He still tells the stories of bravado from his time in the service. And with his age, it has become a routine every time he uses the exact same words. 
I could recite them along with him, and I do so sometimes to interrupt his train of thoughts and to rile him up. Thank God for father in the company of his friends. His prodigy, Brad, is a pleasure to talk to. I've seen that way he looks at me, too, with a no what a naughty man. I will see him again tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with seeking out a better company than a buffoon I am married to. Oh, Stuart, you foolish man! How readily you shovel your own demise into your belly! There is something oddly satisfying about the way Stuart has been wasting away over time. The secret ingredient I sometimes put in his meal sure does the job well. I can withhold it for a few weeks and see him gain back his energy, or I can give him a higher dose to see him struggle out of bed the next day. I'll have had quite... I have had quite a bit of fun over the past few months, but it is finally time to end my charade. Stuart will not live to see the sunrise tomorrow, and I can be with Brad, as I was always meant to be. It's funny how life can make my twilight so beautiful. I have nothing but happiness ahead of me. No more monotone stories for me. Farewell, Stuart. Perhaps we will meet again in the next world, but not until after I can finally enjoy this one. Wow, what a bitch. Okay. Oof. Some nice grass. This place is really pretty. I like all the mountains. I'm just raiding people's houses and taking their notes and reading them. Even though the only thing in their houses is like two tables, three chairs, and a bed. So yeah, commentary. Um, I start college in a few days. That's cool. I don't know when this episode's coming out, so... Actually, the, the day this episode comes out, I'm going to college for the first time. So that's pretty cool. That That's a step up. That's a step up in life. That's how life works. It's gonna be cool. I have a 3D modeling or a 3D modeling class, an English class, and a math class, so that'll be fun. Don't know how I'm getting home. I still haven't gotten my car yet, so hopefully I'll get that soon. 42. I think this is where I'm gonna end the episode, guys. So I want to thank you for watching. And I hope you stay tuned. So I'll see you in the next part. Stay tuned. You're lovely people.